So, let's talk to people and see what they have to say. Carlos Tell me about your fires side. raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil Zariel's own. Chaos Good lord. Okay, wow. Devil yeah, this guy, this is definitely the guy who designed a backstory that was for a character like 10 levels higher than he was going to be playing. It's possible that he's lying, of course. Uh, that That's certainly a possibility. A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. Convenient. I'm sworn to say no more. Mm, I think Will may be lying. Right. I want to know about the eye. A most vicious one, in fact. But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and karma days. Ooh. Tiny grooves spider across a the sending stone. Oh wow. Has he got a sending stone as a fake eye? That's amazing. Distant contacts. A sending stone. <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quick. Insight. Insight, there we go. Will is keeping something from you. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Still feels quite invasive. No, that feels really invasive. I'm not going to do that. Gladly. Anything more we should discuss? That's not what he said. The subtitles lied to me. My father once said. One does not <laughs> he approves of just being asked the question. One merely answers its call. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. Ew. I don't remember much of the battle. But I remember drying the boy's tears after. But he named you the Blade of Frontiers. No. But he named me friend, and that meant the world. Then how is this relevant to the fucking conversation? The children the, never saved. You haven't answered the question. Cries how did you become the Blade of Frontiers? That didn't. Tears, that didn't. I finally saw the answer the question. Wrought by the villains of the wild, the Frontiers demanded a blade. Oh, so you gave yourself so that title. This is definitely the kind of player who needs to tone the backstory down. Oh, what the fuck? Carlax right there. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Okay, that's bloody easy. I mean, I guess it's probably like the next step in finding Karlak rather than Karlak herself, but still, bloody hell. Okay, so the goblin camp is this way. Let's let's head down this path and see what we can find. Survival? Oh, I was going to say, this is very clearly a door. Is this just a secret exit to the grove? No, maybe not. What is this? Rune of the Eagle. Let's see if we can activate this from a distance. Hey, there we go. Let's sneak close if we can. If we can take him out, that would be ideal. This feels like a pretty easy one shot, I think. Did the others notice? I don't know if they did. <laughs> Sharp Eye Gerza. That's perhaps. An inaccurate name. Let's go for it. Got him! Beautiful. That's a lot of damage on these guys. Who the hell is Findle? Oh! I didn't realize they had a captive. Okay. Need to be a little careful with that then, don't we? Oh, this is the, the really weirdly exploitable Larian combat mechanics, isn't it? Where the people who aren't in combat can just do infinite actions until they enter combat. Yeah, that's, I'm not a fan of that, to be honest. So we're just gonna do this. Join battle, yep. And Will, you know what? You have Eldritch Blast for a reason. <laughs> and that's a pretty good reason. Nice miss, motherfucker. Easy kill, there we go. Got him. And now let's see if we can get this guy up on his feet. I mean, we have a cleric. Can I give him a potion? Do I need to, like, throw it? I think I'd rather give him a potion than burn my final second level spell slot. How do I use it on someone else? This, isn't it? There we go. Okay. That's a weird way of doing that, but fine. Hey, bud. Oh, he healed himself. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought I was going to die down here. They were asking questions about a weapon. I told them... The only weapons here are the ones the Foulbloods brought. 
Oh, he's a well, he's one of the racist one. druids. I stay Good lord. Careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And sent you again. Oh, another entrance. Okay. Oh, what is this? makeshift prison? Is this the growth? What's going on here? Yeah, what's the deal? You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Look at the gobbled in. Put it down. She can't fight. Oh my god, is this a goblin That's companion? I'd love a goblin companion. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Do I save the goblin? Yeah, go on, let's save the goblin. No reason to kill him. Oh, Gale approves. He's not even here. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You, move. We can give this a go. I've got decent charisma. Yeah, all right. Damn you. Damn it. But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Well, it's not much point in killing her. Can't say I understand that. Not sure I want to. Can I talk to her? Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute. And hang you by your guts. Oh, I thought she might be friendly. Okay, never mind. Ooh! Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. That's very poetic, but tells me very little. Absolute bless one of our own. Okay. Priestess Gus. New gods. I mean, I'm... Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Ooh. You could probably stick your head back on if someone Ooh. was to chop it off. <laughs> I'm not saying we should trust a god. I was, I was going to say. But she sounds very I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily disagree. Get me out of here, and I'll tell Ooh. you where to find her. Deal? Yes. Then hurry up and do it. The world doesn't like saving the goblin. As I am. If we can become the servants of a new god, that could be interesting. Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. Uh, I don't know if I want to talk to the tribe, to be honest. I wasn't sure that this was where this was going to go. I don't want to ally with the goblin tribe, thinking about it. Yeah, so I think I'm regretting this decision. I changed my mind. What can I say? I'm capricious. Speak with Korga. Oh, I haven't spoken to Korga about that. Shit, I completely forgot. Okay, let's go do that then. Hello. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Oh, I know you're a monster. I just want you to let the, you know, let the refugees stay. Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. Jesus, Will. Don't fucking antagonize her. What are you doing? The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters. No one leaves. Sanctuary. Classic druid strats. None of this can Fucking happen. druids. While outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. And mine perish if he stays. Not necessarily. He showed great metal at the gate. Metal, the metal of a skilled of a skill sword for hire. Are you going to try and hire me to I want drive you to Zevlor out? Your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Surely killing the Archdruid of the Grove is a terrible idea. But at the same time, I'm not a fan. I don't care about whether or not this woman lives. I would happily kill her. I do care about the other Druids. I care about Wrath and I care about Nettie. And I don't know what will happen. You will do more than speak. Let's this leave this conversation for now. I think the only way to resolve this peacefully is to get Holson. So let's go, yeah, you know what, let's make that the priority. Let's get Holson quickly. We should probably have a long rest before we're heading out, I think. I feel like that's kind of a no-brainer, right? Because I've got a lot of camp supplies. Oh, something happening or is this the normal long rest animation? Normal long rest animation, okay, cool. Oh, I didn't redo my prepared spells. Son of a bitch. How do I do that? Oh, can you just do it whenever you're outside of combat? Is that just how it works? Yeah, okay, I can just do it outside of combat. Gotcha. So I can just pull out my rituals whenever. That's good. Damn. All right. Ooh, there's a big old cave here. Let's check that out. That looks like the kind of place where we might find goblins. It just auto-saved. Ominous. Oh, what's this? 
You're a true soul. You can't die. Please. So these serve the absolute same as the goblins. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. Hmm. And something within you stares in response. Oh. Yeah, let's give it a go. DC two? What the shit? They really want you to pass these, huh? I'm so so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured and I I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and what? alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured hmm. man locks eyes with you. The parasite rides in Taking your something head. I'll never get back is a scary phrase, but at the same time, if it's giving me mind flayer brain powers. Good tadpole. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Oh my god, minions. I love minions. What? Are you are you testing us? Yes. The absolute is our yes. goddess. She's going to rip down it's the a test. old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Uh, hmm. You have more to learn of our faith, novice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. I'm sorry, true soul. <laughs> I only repeat it. Why was that not a deception check? We're looking for fugitives. Survivors from oh, a ship that yeah. crashed farther west of here. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Interesting. Go on, let's you. say that. Uh, Brenna, kill him! Oh, well, okay, that went badly. I was hoping that they would what they wanted us found, though. Found found is good? Uh yeah, just shoot her. No reason to get fancy, I don't think. Oh! I have dialogue with everyone. Good lord, everyone wants to talk about that. So the tadpole allows us to influence others. How very interesting. Don't get too excited. Oh yeah, okay, so it's a group chat. Influence comes at a cost. And until we know what mm. the cost is... I want the power of the mind player, but I like Shadow Heart. I want to agree with Shadow Heart more. The ability to manipulate people, make them bend to your every I don't like that I'm agreeing I mean, with Astarian on this, but I am. <laughs> That's no fun. Uh, uh, fine. My point exactly. I'm so glad you agree. I mean, I think he's right. But again, I don't like the fact that I agreed with him. Strange power resonates Ooh. within the corpse. Another tadpole? We're gonna get the tadpole out of this guy's head? Oh? What? Okay, this isn't good. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Was your mind shut? You'll not be influenced. Ah. Uh, hmm. Oh, do I want? I want the dark power. I want to become a mind flayer, but I, yeah, no, no, we're taking it. Ew. Gross. Where did you put that? Oh, I could climb that rock. But no, let's go into this cave. See what's in here. Owlbear? Owlbear? Let's hunt an owlbear. We're getting distracted again, but fuck it. Owlbear might have good loot. Oh! Owlbear does have good loot. What the hell? Why does an owlbear have an altar? Oh, that! Look at that! That's an awesome design for a creature. It's a distressed owlbear. Could we help it somehow? That's a lot of fucking health. Uh, you know what? I'm no druid. The owlbear's distressed for a reason, probably. But can't say I much care what that reason may be. Move, in range, in range, in range. Perfect. Whoo, baby, this was a terrible plan. Yeah! The enemy is surprised. Excellent. Good hit. Good fucking hit, man. Okay, this is good, this is good. This is a tough enemy, but we've got all the advantage in the world against it. Oh, Jesus wept, okay. We have a cutscene now. What's happening? Uh, fucking hell, Albert's kinda scary. Like, really fucking scary. Almost killed Will immediately. What are the chances of success here? 
Oh, I'm at a disadvantage, of course. I should probably just go for magic missile, right? Yeah. The baby Albert. I don't really want to kill the baby, but maybe I'm priced into that now. Let's head over here. Can I hide? I can. Good. Take the fucker out. Take him out. Damn. Raven's slightly too far away. Well, Quoth, in which case, chill for now. Good misses. Good misses. Amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. Excellent. Top tier. Quality stuff. Quality stuff. Okay. Uh, kill. Cub looks from you to his dead mother. Oh, don't make me feel bad about it. A single strike will end his suffering. Oh, well. Can't be helped. Anyway. Agreed. Fuck you, game, for making me feel bad. For doing a bad thing. Oh! Undead creatures that hit the wearer take radiant damage. Beasts that hit the wearer take radiant damage. Huh. Okay, that's really cool. Also a delicious owlbear egg for a delicious owlbear egg omelette. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. I mean, I'll take a fortune. Feeling less bad about the baby now. Damn, that is worth a lot. 750? That's worth a lot more than 40 camp supplies normally. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna sell that. I realize I just got distracted from an incredibly important mission to save a druid leader in order to just randomly murder a bear. But, you know. That's how it goes, I suppose. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Oh, ow. Do I need, like, knock or um, dispel magic or something? Or oh, I could try opening it from a distance with Mage Hand, see if that works. Oh, can you not use Mage Hand to open chests? Okay, in which case we need to deal with the magic, which means probably a dispel check of some kind. We went under the bridge. I wanna go across it, because I think across it is what leads us to the goblin camp. Exsanguinated boar, what? Like, exsanguinated is an awfully suspicious description. Why does the pig not have blood in it? What, what happened to the pig to remove all the blood? And there's some people over there who we can have a nice, calm chat with. You guys murder a bunch of people? What's going on? Thought you was busy with the foul oh, it's these guys. Wolf. Okay. Gonna find the wizard who gave us the contract that got my people killed. Left out all the Which wizard? Bits, like I'm happy to kill a wizard. Treasures I want to take his spellbook so I can learn all his spells. That much gold for some long lost 5,000? It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple, under the temple where the where goblins, goblins jumped us. Okay. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. He just said but sodger. Short of the fat old chunk. That's not the word he meant to say. I'm just glad to be rid of them. Cool. On. This looks like the goblin camp indeed, doesn't it? Don't know how many goblins there will be in there or where they will be. But I feel like this is going to be our opportunity to attack. Let's see what we can do. Oh. Surround them like. Can I talk my way out of this? The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Oh, I only get to rest. I only get to do it once per rest. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, go on. Let's go for it. Oh, I have advantage. And you know what? Guidance. Why the hell not? Yeah. Probably good enough. Just roll a two. Yes. Sick. Ugh. Suppose it's best to save our strength for a real threat. Um, yeah, I guess we just passed through, right? Ooh, what's in the chest? Holy shit, what? Hang on. I don't know what momentum means, but it sounds awesome. Problem is, these helms look garbage. I don't like them. Honestly, it arguably looks best on Prunty. Okay, maybe we can stick with that. Let's make our way to the temple. Murderize the fuck out of some goblins. Oh my god, what's happened here? Someone's been setting some goddamn fires. Oh, this is the goblin f goblin camp. Okay, we're here. I don't really fancy getting into a, just an open scrap. See if there's some way we can negotiate for Halsin, maybe. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck shite. Rude. Not really much of a nature person. Um, Your leader summoned me. Yeah, let's go with that one. Nice. Guess we're in with all sorts these days. If you're here to see Draw Ragslin, you'll want to let him and the lads know you're one of us. There's a party on. That is a, a pile of shit. Interesting. You'll need to wear our war colors. Hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice to have her this. Where? Just a mug. Ought to do it. Oh. Them's the rules. You follow them now, or you follow them dead. What'll it be? Do it. 
Or don't, you bloody ranger. I mean, I'd rather not have to get into a big old fight, but I'm also not smearing dung across my face. Like, okay, don't get me wrong. I'm all for avoiding conflict, but at the same time, there's some stuff I'm not willing to do. <laughs> Worth it, Daddy. Daddy is such a shit insult, by the way. Oh god, they all went first. Prunty! No! Prunty! Prunty! Oh dear god. Prunty, that was not a good start. Oh my god. So we have a couple of archers up ahead. Or up above, rather. Quoth, you know what, Quoth? You can do something, I'm sure. Get him! Blind him! Yes! Beautiful! Fucking crit! Go, Quoth! Go! You fucking rock and you fucking roll. How many of these can I send to sleep? Tracker and Puce, maybe? That seems worthwhile. Now fucking run around the corner. Uh, well, I mean, this feels like a pretty good spot. They're both asleep, which is amazing. And I don't think these animals are going to be intelligent enough to know how to wake them up. Or at least put it this way. If my DM had those animals capable of knowing how to wake these guys up, I would be calling bullshit on that DM. Oh yeah, but sleep only lasts for two fucking turns, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Because it's been massively nerfed. This guy's... Is he still blinded? No, it lasts for one turn. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> yes, Quoth. Quoth is just soloing this archer. And now Prunty, obviously Prunty's not in a great spot. What are the chances of this? 65%? I mean, that massively, massively nerfs this creature. And this creature's probably the biggest threat. But I could also just send it to fucking sleep, couldn't I? With a first level spell slot, and that's probably better. So let's just see if we can take this motherfucker out. 50%. Am I better off getting in with this? 55. It's a higher hit chance, but weaker overall. I feel like Shield of Faith is going to be worth, worth it here. It means we lose the uh, advantage on Asterion's stealth checks, but... Better defense is a big deal. Critical hit for six? What the fuck? That was trash. Killed him. Great. Okay. Damn. In which case, everyone retreat around this corner. We'll end for now. Shooting at Quoth. I mean, if all they're doing is just shooting at Quoth, then we're in amazing shape. We're going to try and take this, ch this chap out. I've got advantage. Why do I have advantage? Oh, because he's blinded. So I can just sneak attack him, right? Yup. Easy kill. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get on top of this. This feels pretty good. Yeah, this feels like this will give us a pretty substantial advantage. Well, I mean, that guy's coming around the corner. That's perfect. If we can lure this motherfucker out behind the corner, that works great for me. Who's next? Warrior Puce. Don't know where the hell he is. Is that? Oh, that's this one, right? This is Warrior Puce. Yeah, so the others don't technically... They're, they're just kind of stalling. It looks like we're only finding a couple of them now. And then Asterion can, like, step out and get immediately spotted. It's worth the risk to get a free shot, I think. Yes. Hiding successful. Just what I wanted to hear. Oh, that should have been a sneak attack. Oh, it looks like it was a sneak attack. Okay, fine. Hide again. Puce is trying to follow us up the cliff. So what we can do is we can drop down and attack him, right? Or we can blast him from a distance. Yeah, let's do that. Eldritch Blast, sir. Miss, motherfucker. Oh my god, there's an alarm. What? Shit. I was kind of hoping I'd have the opportunity to stop her from doing that in between her announcing that it's a thing and doing it. Possibly naive, but hey. Don't like the fact that this claw is making its way up pretty well now as well. Yeah, let's see if we can get a shot off. Oh, shit. There's a ton more that just got aggroed. We're going to want to make our way down, I think. So, Prunty, if you can finish off this guy or something, that would be wonderful. I can move over there and take the shot. Hopefully stay hidden. Excellent. Are you kidding me? That was 94%. Fuck off. A five with advantage. Jesus Christ. Don't attack Prunty, please. Shadow Heart. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Can I shove him off the edge? Oh, she has to pass an athletics check. Okay. That's a bonus action, though, so it was kind of free. You, shove him. Beautiful. Love it. I should have attacked him first, I guess. But now I can Eldritch Blast. 
How do I keep missing these fucking shots? There's so many enemies. We need to not be missing here. In fact, I think we need to jump down. Slightly drunk. <laughs> okay, I feel like now would be magic missile time. Two missiles has a very high chance of killing her. Oh, I've only got second level spells left. I mean, second level magic missile isn't the worst thing in the world, but second level sleep might be better. Claw's only got 12 hit points, so 12, 7, 12. That would be 24, 31. If I could get all of them, that would be perfect, but I don't know if there's anywhere I can see all of them. Can I see Claw now? Yes. What about these two? Yes. No. Okay. Might be worth just doing that, though. And if I'm going to do that, I might as well do it on him as well. There's no reason not to. Yeah, we'll do that. I think sleeping claw is really important. I should really chug a healing potion, but it's fine. We're fine. Good hit. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Good kill. Okay, so you get an advantage, guaranteed hit. Oh, no, this is just a guaranteed kill, right? Because it's an auto crit. Claw will also be an auto crit. Okay, go for the auto crit. Easy kill, motherfucker. There we go. Perfect. Claw down. And I do have bonus actions. Yeah, you know what? We'll bonus action to heal. Do a little bit of healing on Prunty. Just so Prunty doesn't go down to a single hit. You, if you can blind this one, that would be great. No, you. yes you can. You can fly. Don't fucking lie to me. Nicely done, Quoth. <laughs> Quoth is just a killer. Holy shit. Don't want to burn through more spell slots if I can avoid it. Advantage, because she's blinded. Let's go for the kill. Not quite, but fine. Now, I could finish her off. Yeah, seems worth. It's a good thing everyone has a really good ranged option, actually. Phenomenal. Critical miss. Motherfucker. What are you doing with your life, Will? Shell that for now. <laughs> Quoth. Both is surviving everything somehow, despite having one hit point. Absolutely astounding. Okay, um, first things first. Would you guys mind, like, looking over here? That'd be great. Hopefully that doesn't aggro the claw. Starion. Nice, there we go. Yeah, I need to make use of that combo. Phenomenal. And now Prunty can see if he can take him out. Solid chance. Low damage. Yeah, I mean, that's me. Prunty, hide behind the corner again. Good old Prunty. Classic wizard strat. Tried to shove my raven. Very rude. Plus five bonus hit points from the other armor of Agathis, of course. Might be better going for Eldritch Blast here. Because this is higher damage. Much more likely to one-shot. Because it gets charisma to damage. Yep, the claw moved up to attack the cat. Which actually isn't great, because it means the claw might notice the rest of us. Growth. You know what to do. Good God, Quoth is a killer. Quoth is so good, man. Yeah, finish him off. Easy kill. Yep, claws entered the combat, but fortunately it entered the combat after everything else was dead, which is excellent. Look at the cat. Good. This is such a sick combo, man. I don't want to go for the melee here, but... Oh! Crit! Sneak attack. Beautiful! That was a fun combat. It's probably worth taking a short rest. Prunty's going to need to use this to get a bunch of first level spell slots back. Medium armor helmet. Oh, that might look good, actually. That seems like it kind of goes with the rest of her gear. Okay. I like that. That's solid. I'll take that. Excellent. Now then, where are the other gobledins, and will they be immediately hostile? I think, I feel like we took out, like, most of the camp, didn't we? Because there was a lot of goblins. Okay, so which way is it to the temple? That just looks like a path. I think the temple's this way, right? Yeah, this looks like a temple. Okay. I feel like we may be getting into a big fight here. Possibly one we can't handle, but I guess we'll see. Oh, everyone wants to talk. Oh, no. Sorry, we entered a conversation. Different. Uh, okay. Tadpole's doing some funky shit. This sounds like the absolute to me. This is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others. Only infinitely stronger. Your vision clouds, leaving you... Oh, my word. Okay. Plot. Nothingness in every direction. 
Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. Well, they look like a bunch of shadows at the moment. My chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon. And you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my presence. Mm. You know how I was talking about wanting power at any cost? The many sided artifact. Oh! Somehow you understand its repelling the presence. The one that Shadowheart had. Amazing. How is it shielding us? And why? Not that I'm complaining. Shadowheart, you're the one who has this. Can you not explain what the fuck that was? All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Oh, there we go. It seemed to just come to me. Uh, no, it didn't. I took it from you and couldn't give I it know. back. I don't understand how exactly, but I felt it go to you. It's important. Keep it close. Yeah, you don't want it back? I do. But the artifact has a will of its own. And powers... Oh, that's why I couldn't give it back. Okay, cool. It There's a plot reason for that. Let me take it back. I suppose if we're going to keep helping each other, I might as well tell you. Oh, I was interesting. Part of a group okay, sent more. To it. Bring it to Baldur's Gate for our goddess. I worship Sha, the mistress of the night. It's my mission to deliver the artifact to her secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. Excellent. <sighs> it hurts. Now that you have the truth. Oh, why did that just hurt her? I guess because she was that. she wasn't supposed to tell the truth or something. Vilified by many, forbidden outright in parts. Curious. Yep. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. I don't care who you worship. Doesn't matter. Not important. Yeah, why were you in pain? Come on, explain this shit. Hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. So you knew more than we were letting on before? Whatever. Don't need to be such a little bitch. Do you know what, what causes it to hurt? Say. Yes. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Hmm. Interesting. Gods do weird things. This is fine. I can do to help. So, oh. But you're sweet to ask. I mean, I, the other questions seemed a bit uh, less than pertinent. Talk. So this just feels like bitching. And this question, why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I mean, that seems disrespectful to the god, so... Yeah. We can get to know her more later. Right now, we've got gobos to find. And gobos to probably kill. If I just walk in, will they be like, hey guys, hang on a minute, I'm going to try something. Can I turn into a goblin? You're kidding me. There's no goblin option? Oh, that's bullshit. What? I can't turn into a goblin. This should allow me to turn into a goblin. Oh, that's really disappointing. Because that's like one of the classic uses for disguise spell. Well, guess we're not going to bother with the spell then. Hang on. I recognize that prick. That he's... Singing the praises of this guy. That's a lot of goblins. Are we going to have to kill all the goblins? That would be rough. But I don't know if I want to take the risk of trying to go in without taking them out. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick them off. Okay. This is when we bonus action dash. And get the fuck out of there. That's a lot of goblins. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I didn't see that. Okay. This is a lot more than I was anticipating. Right. We might be best served by getting the fuck out.
That is a lot of dudes for a, a wizard who doesn't have access to fireball. Okay, do we try and pick him off from a range or do we run? I don't know. I feel like we try and turn this into a killing corridor. I feel like that's what we do. I mean, a lot of these are relatively weak, but so am I. Let's be real. Yeah, too far. And I don't like, there's a lot of archers here. This might be a terrible idea. Because I am letting them get very close. Oh, uh, we can see if we can take that one out. That's basically free. Because he can then duck back and hide again. Oh, this is temporarily hostile. I wonder what that means. You know what? If we're going to make this a combat, we're going to make this a good one. Now is the time for the secret weapon. Oh, the spiritual weapon has hit points. Oh, and it has its own initiative? Damn, that's not how it works in the base game. Okay. See if we can take that one out. Good kill, good kill. That was a crit, I think. Wasn't it? 17 fire damage? Must have been. Yeah, okay. What I wouldn't give for a single fireball right now. The melee guys at the front are like the least of my concerns. What I'm worried about are the ones at the back. So, I wouldn't mind Grease. Grease will be good right now, but I don't have Grease, unfortunately. But for now, I think I'm going to have to stick with Firebolts. Miss. Okay, fine. We're going to miss a few times. We need to get a little lucky here. I was going to say, I don't think that guy can get through because of the way they're, they're clogging up the bridge. I mean, it's a choke point, right? Yeah, if they're attacking the spiritual weapon... Oh, I guess, actually, that spiritual weapon's probably going to die relatively quickly, isn't it? But it's stalling them. It's stalling them a lot. Quoth can come in and blind one of these guys, I guess. Quoth's probably going to die, right? Yeah, Quoth's in trouble, not going to lie. But that's just how it goes. Damn, that spiritual weapon has taken an entire round of attacks. Even if it does nothing else, that probably was worth the cast. I think I want to take out the ones that are closer right now. See if we can take this one out. Good kill. Amazing kill. This is still clogged at the back, which is phenomenal. That goes close. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Knew that was going to happen. Oh, okay. They can see Shadowheart now. Dashing. Okay, good. Means they're doing nothing else. Now we can get them with like a big, big sleep. And I'm on board with that. We can also just distract them with another spiritual weapon. I think that's probably worthwhile. Still insane that that spell is a bonus action, by the way. And... See if we can finish this one off. Good kill. Now. Do we just go for the magic missile? Try and kill as many of them as possible. Like two here. One here. Uh, one here. Two here or something. Devout Mezka. That's the one who's casting Bless. So if we can get a concentration blast on her, that would be amazing. Let my enemies fall. Beautiful. There goes Bless. The ogre still can't get through. This is so good. The fact that they're clogging it up is amazing. These fuckers standing here is just doing so much work for me. And I love that. Now it's the spiritual weapon. Yeah, spiritual weapon. If you attack Mezca, that would be great. What's this? Oh, concussive smash. Can't take reactions and are easier to hit. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? And it's a bonus action? Hang on, how fucking strong is this weapon? Holy shit, it can do that and attack? Oh no, the attack is a bonus action. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Never mind. The whole thing is a bonus action. This is weirdly set up. It only gets a bonus action. Are we just going to go for another magic missile? One, two, three. Seems good. Incredible. I cannot believe this combat is going this well. I mean, that's the power of a bridge, right? And they're still going to be targeting the spiritual weapon, I think. <laughs> the ogre's just getting bored. Oh, it can throw things. Okay, never mind. Does have ranged attacks. We want to be careful about taking this one out. We want to take out this one first. Because killing this one allows the ogre to get through. Um, so how far forward does she have to go to be able to shoot the warlock? Not that far. Let's make this quick. Great. Great. Burn him down. And, yep, another blast on this motherfucker. Come on, 75%. Yes! Warlock down. If we can... I want to take out this thing before we take out this one. Target outside normal range. It's barely outside normal range. I'm going to take... 
a couple steps forwards and risk, yep, getting seen in order to get full sneak attack on this motherfucker. That was very, very worth it. Holy shit. This is why you want a rogue in your party, man. Oh, he's going to smash through the barricade. Because <laughs> he's sick of waiting. Okay, spiritual weapon down, but it did its fucking job. Holy shit, did that do its job. Kill it. Oh, he's got one hit point left. Oh, we are so good. Another fight I felt was help hopeless. Yeah, I mean, hey, I thought it was pretty bad as well, but I did not realize they could target spiritual weapon. That spiritual weapon bought me two full rounds, which is genuinely insane. Let's see if we can take down Tack. Okay, I mean, I'm happier to miss now than earlier in the fight. Missing a ton earlier in the fight would have been really bad. Missing a ton now is kind of fine. Got him. Okay, uh, I should be moving back behind the barricades as well, actually. I keep not doing that, because that's what prevents them from just outright shooting me. And now Starion should be able to... I don't even need to get... No, I don't need sneak attack on the bloody guard Gurgen. Um, I'll see if I can use it to take out Sharp Aggie. Perfection. Now the Gurgen's not going to be able... To... Oh! Shit, Asterion is in range. Okay, that was a mistake. I did not realize that that thing would be able to hit me. I should have backed up. Oh well, that's what I get, I suppose. What's this? 55%. Go for it. Incredible. The only damage I took in that entire fight was that 14 damage right at the end because I screwed up and didn't recognize that that thing was going to be able to hit me. Jesus wept. We should probably just take a short rest. Do I have another short rest? I don't, right? Let's loot this place and then retreat and take a long rest, I think. We're basically out of resources at this point. Two scrolls of revivify. Oh, he was a trader. <laughs> Rip. Um, oh, that's good. I don't really have anyone who can profitably wear medium. The only person who can wear medium is Shadowheart, and I don't want to... Oh, that would only drop her armor class by one, actually. Minus one armor class, but plus one to deck saves and plus one to initiative. That might be worth it. Someone's reported a theft oh, whoops. in this area. It seems you <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We've slaughtered everyone in the camp. And you want to, uh... No, absolutely not, my friend. Are you kidding me? We've slaughtered this entire camp, and you're trying to arrest me for stealing? <laughs> One shot, crit. <laughs> Beautiful. That felt like the game didn't plan. I guess these guys weren't inherently hostile, didn't stick around for long enough to find out. Where is the bloody bard, by the way? Not the bard, Volo. I would have thought he would be happy that we saved him. Bunch more goblins. Holy crap. Okay, but they look like goblins that are easy enough to kill. I guess this the whole point is that this is supposed to be like a settlement that you're supposed to, you know, talk to and do NPC dialogue with. But I did the classic D&D &D thing of not talking to the quest givers and murdering them all instead. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Starion, advance forwards and get a free shot on probably, yes, Crusher, I think. Sounds great. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Hang on, attitude minus 20. Oh, fuck, he lost the initiative. That's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, I think he's buggered. I was hoping to get surprise. Why didn't I get surprised that? Oh, I'm out of healing spells. Well, we may be using a revivify scroll here, guys. Hellish Rebuke. Oh, I can do Hellish Rebuke. Yeah, we're going to take a rest, so. Oh, that was beautiful. I love Hellish Rebuke. Did he fail? Oh, he succeeded too. Okay. In which case, I think we might be able to get away without needing healing. Stabilized. Okay, good. I still don't understand why I didn't get surprised, but fine. We should probably back off before finishing off this camp, I think. Although I would much rather finish the whole camp before. Holy shit, that's some insane movement speed buffs. I need to figure out who wants movement speed the most. So we need to take the opportunity to heal, but I feel like we've almost wiped the whole camp, right? I feel like we can just take out these last couple and then we'll be, I think this is it. I think these guys are the only ones left. Four, eight, five. None of them are particularly dangerous. Let's take out the one furthest away. Probably a bunch of innocent goblin children, but oh well. 
none will be spared. Because we start initiated combat like this, we get to do every one. <laughs> Attitude will minus 30. Um, also, the fact that they don't seem to be ragdolling I find strange, but... Huh. Okay. Why did we not enter combat? I'm a bit confused. What's happening right now? You murdered someone in view of a guard. Perhaps what? Unsurprisingly, you okay. Murder. Clearly the game did not intend for me to, um... To kill the camp. Go for it. Easy kill. Easy kill. And I think now is a pretty appropriate time. Firstly, to take a long rest. And secondly, to make the end of the next YouTube video. Uh, I am realizing it seems like I was supposed to do a bunch of social stuff with the goblin camp. I didn't. Whoops. Um, so they're all dead now. Hopefully there wasn't any interesting stories associated with them. I have no idea where the fuck Volo has gone. He just seemed to disappear. So I, I guess maybe we'll find out later. If you want to see what happens when we enter further into the Goblin camp, spoilers, we're probably going to kill more of them. Then uh, you can click on the next YouTube video. It might be up. If it's up, it's on the sidebar. If it isn't, then click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when it does come up. And while you're down there, you might as well like, you might as well comment, you might as well do all the other things. It makes the algorithm like my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.